A Seattle police officer is caught on tape talking about making up evidence while two wrongly arrested men sat in jail. It's the latest shocker uncovered by a Como 4 problem solver investigation into the SPD's vanishing videos. Problem solver Tracy Vetter talked to the men who filed a claim against the city today for excessive force and wrongful arrest. Josh Lawson, Christopher Franklin, November 16, 2010. Seattle police arrest them at gunpoint. Their lives changed forever. I thought I was going to die. It was the most terrifying thing I've ever experienced. Both men say they suffered facial bruises and swelling after one was kicked and the other manhandled into the pavement. But then listen to what an officer says after he takes them to jail. Now, you're going to jail for robbery. That's all. Awesome. Robbery. Yeah, I'm going to make stuff up. Robbery. Here yeah, I'm going to make stuff up. Listen again. Yeah, I'm going to make stuff up. Christopher Franklin believed him. He showed me that he has the power to do whatever he wanted that night. He has a badge, and all we can do is nothing. Together, we watched the video of their arrest. I need to make this clear. Neither Lawson or Franklin has a criminal record, nor were they charged with anything after this arrest. They both work full-time and go to school. But the night of their arrest, they were here in this neighborhood near Seattle Center, several blocks away from where an assault was reported. Got beat up by a couple guys. In the 911 call, a witness described those assailants. It was two tall, skinny African Americans. Lawson is six foot, Franklin just five nine, and they were wearing. I could tell that they were both wearing jeans. I saw one. These are the booking photos. Lawson is wearing white sweatpants. Franklin's jeans are allowed to fall to his knees after his shoes are taken away. And at the scene, an officer pulls his hood up over his head. I felt like he was making me look like the part. I mean, these guys are guilty of being black in Seattle. Attorney Liz Ann Padula represents Lawson and Franklin. She believes if they'd been white. I think the most that would have happened with those kids, police officer would have rolled down his window and said, hey, were you guys over in this area? But Officer Brad Richardson, seen here, never questions the two about any assault. Instead, Officer Richardson makes what's called a felony stop, taking cover behind his door with a drawn gun. Now, in this use of force report, he says both men ignored his commands to stop and kept walking towards him. But Franklin and Lawson say that's crazy. There's no way they'd keep walking towards a cop with a drawn gun. We got on the ground and we froze. I was terrified. I thought. I thought it was going to be murdered in cold blood. So he says, I want to make stuff up. Yeah. We showed Seattle Police Sergeant Sean Whitcomb the arrest video. He admits the comment was inappropriate, but says the department's Office of Professional Accountability investigated this complaint and exonerated the officer. I can tell you we take them seriously, but people have to believe that. They have to trust the system. They have to trust the process. Another problem, none of the arrest is caught on tape, only the aftermath, with Lawson's angry questions of why Officer Richardson kicked him in the face. For more than a year, the Como 4 problem solvers fought to get access to SPD's video database, knowing the dash cam videos could play a critical role in citizen oversight of the troubled department. We're now suing SPD for what we believe is a violation of the Public Records Act. Our investigation uncovered, among other things, that the department had lost tens of thousands of dash cam videos. Attorney Padula contacted us, wondering if her clients were among that group. And uh, it wasn't really until, you know, I was able to communicate with you and your knowledge of what's out there and what the videos mean and, and your investigation that it was like, oh, wait, there's not just one video that we don't get. There's more. The problem solvers discovered at least three other dash cam videos exist of the Lawson Franklin arrest, but none show Officer Richardson during the critical time period when he had Lawson and Franklin at gunpoint and later kicked Lawson. Are you going to hold officers accountable if they don't turn cameras on? We do. We actually do. Look at our OPA report. It didn't happen in this case. Not, well, maybe not in that case, but there's other cases. I think it's reprehensible. I just, to me, there's no excuse for that. We've learned that video could have been salvaged from the hard drive in Officer Richardson's dash cam system, but wasn't. We continue our investigation into SPD's vanishing videos tomorrow with another distressing case where police had a potentially dangerous suspect hold up, but decided to walk away. Tracy Vetter, Como 4 Problem Solvers.